Well, folks, here again for the weekly forecast. Before we get to the main forecast, let's kind of take a retrospective look over this past week. For here in Nebraska, really the only thing we dealt with was a few waves that were moving on the backside of the upper area trough that was supportive of Hurricane Sandy coming into the northeastern United States. And they did drop a few sprinkles in portions of north central northeast Nebraska, but no significant accumulations. I couldn't find any place that received more than a tenth of an inch of liquid equivalent moisture. However, when you went to the eastern seaboard, as this hurricane came on board into the northeast, there was a considerable amount of areas that received well in excess of three inches and up to six, seven inches in some isolated areas. And of course, we had all the blizzard conditions in the mountain areas of Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia, and portions of Pennsylvania. Now we're into the process of cleaning up as, it, as the trough itself has left the northeast and we are looking at the west in terms of our weather as we progress through this next week to a 10 day period and there are signs that an impending storm may be moving into the western United States as we go into the middle of next week but for us it doesn't look like much in the way of any moisture on tap for us over this next seven day period so let's take a look at the upper air models and see what we could expect as we go through this next seven days and I'll draw your attention to there's another piece of energy trying to ride uh, southeastward from uh, south central Canada may again drop a couple light shower act, uh, showers across northeastern Nebraska and maybe even east central Nebraska as the system moves toward the north or toward the southeast and we'll start to dig a fairly decent trough and that will keep us in the cooler weather here in the eastern part of the state for the weekend with much more and more conditions out west. We could be looking at a 10 to 15 degree differential from northeast to southwest. Now as we go in to the day on Sunday, we'll see another piece of energy that's going to pivot down through here and again. Once again, we'll have a chance for some uh, isolated showers, but it looks like the main accumulating moisture will be east of Nebraska. And then as we go into the day on Monday, we'll see that that energy drops down to the south of us and we're starting to dig a fairly decent trough and that's going to keep it once again keep the cool weather in place but as the system moves toward the northeast that's going to allow the ridge from the western united states to build into the region and we'll have much warmer air on tap as we start to see the ridge building into our region on tuesday we should expect to see that continue all the way into wednesday and we'll be firmly planted under this ridge and it looks like everybody's going to have a fairly decent day as we get in the middle of next week we'll be looking consistently at 60s and 70s across the state and as we go into thursday we're going to start to see some of that warmer air slide into slide east eastward and that trough starts to make its approach into the western United States and this is something we'll have to pay attention to as we get into next weekend because on Friday we now we start to see the trough making itself materialize into the portions of the western United States and we'll see that rapidly ejecting out into the plains as we go into next weekend and we do have the potential for a very significant storm somewhere in the central to northern plains we'll just have to keep an eye on things but it does offer potential for some very significant moisture. Now, as we go into the 8 to 14 day forecast, they are showing above normal temperatures in front of this trough, but there's some significant cooling behind this trough. But in terms of precipitation, I think that we'll see that above normal precipitation spread much farther to the south. So it does look like a positive trend for next week, and let's just hope that it does hold together.